Hello friends, welcome back once again to another new video on Mapstruck. So in my last video, I have highlighted the common problem we encounter during mapping different model objects. Okay, and at that time, I told you the solution for it is nothing but Mapstruck. So it is an advanced mapping tool help us to avoid writing large amount of boilerplate code and also makes our life easy while mapping between model objects. Okay, so what is this Mapstruck then? So, Mapstruck is a code generator that greatly simplifies the implementation of mappings between Java bin types based on the convention over configuration approach. So, the generated mapping code uses plain method induction and thus is fast, type safe, and easy to understand. Mapstruck generates bin mapping at compile time, which ensures a high performance, allows for fast developer feedback and thorough error checking. So, this is the advantages of Mapstruck which is used to mapping between different model objects okay which avoids us to writing the boilerplate code so what we will learn in this video so this is the table of contents for this video series okay so what is the map stuff dependencies so if you are using a maven project or a gradle project so what is the dependencies for it we will check that one and also uh, i'll show you the example of map struct in a spring boot application okay and also we'll set up lumbug with map struct in a spring boot applications okay so i have seen in so many cases we do face problem while we use lumbug dependencies along with map struct okay so we'll see how we can resolve this problem so this is a very common uh, problem we usually come across so we'll see how to resolve this and then lastly we'll check different mapping techniques using map struct so there are so many mapping techniques MapStruck provides like the basic mappings when we have the same fields and mapping field with different field name, mapping bins with child bins, mapping multiple source classes when you have multiple source classes from these multiple source classes we want to map to a single target. Okay, how we can do this? Check that one also and mapping with type conversion. Okay, let's say you have a field, let's say you have a audit field. Okay, from the client side, the date is coming as a string, and while saving the database, we are saving it to a date format. So, how the mapping occurs at that time? We'll check that one as well. And mapping enums. So, in your application, you might have so many enums. Okay, so how to map those enums? We'll see this. And add it after mapping and add it before mapping. So, how we can use these two annotations add it after mapping and add it before mapping uh, while we do object maps? So, we'll check that one also. And the last one is nothing but miscellaneous. If any other things mix, then I'll cover in this last uh, video what are the other possibilities of using this map stuff while doing the mappings. Okay, so this is the table of contents I find out and I will uh, share with you guys. So the map stuff dependencies, Maven dependencies, I'll show you and how you can set up a Spring Boot application using both Lombok and map stuff. Okay, and also different type of mapping techniques. So I just pointed out all those things and I will share all those things deeply in my consecutive videos. So hope it will be uh, helpful for you while mapping different object models. So in my next video, I will directly start from a project with a Spring Boot project by using the MapStock dependencies and will show one by one the different mapping techniques. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Hope you like this video and guys please do share, like and subscribe my video so that I can encourage to publish more videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.